let's say you're watching a live stream. You can't pause it. You can't rewind it. It's like Twitch or some YouTube live event that they've disabled the pausing and rewinding. There is a way around this and it works with anything that's supported by YouTube DL, which gets me to the point where we need to talk about the tools involved. YouTube DL, obviously, um, a good video player, I use MPV. And the last tool we need is FFmpeg, the most amazing Swiss Army toolbox when it comes to handling video. So there's several steps we have to break into. First, let's look at MPV. We know for a fact that MPV can play YouTube videos. I'm just gonna MVV drop this random YouTube video here, which is a live stream. Maybe. You investigate. There it goes. So here we go. We got NBC Nightly News YouTube channel showing some not controversial things at all on the screen. So MPV does a really good job of playing YouTube videos and Twitch videos and all that kind of stuff right in your terminal, no browser needed. And of course, depending on the platform you're on, that's sometimes the best way to get hardware decoding. Side note, that's not what we're here for. What here we're here for is time shifting those live streams. So it's two parts. One, we need to grab the URL of the video. So if we do the TAC G, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> we wanna go YouTube DL TAC G. This is gonna drop out the URL of the actual stream. And that's right, folks, it's an M3U8, which is a uh, kind of a transport, like an XML for transporting. Not important. What is important is what we do with it. We wanna take the audio video that that is linking to, that's right, it's a playlist file, playlist file. Grab the audio and video that that's linking to and then pipe it into a file format that we can manipulate which is done with FFmpeg. And then we do uh, dollar sign and parentheses. Now, anything you put in the dollar sign parentheses in bash and other bash compatible languages, the output of that command is that variable. So FFmpeg, tac y, tac i, input, it's gonna put this, all this right in there for us by doing YouTube DL, boop, Tech G. At that point, we want to copy the contents to a dump.ts. Now, TS is very important. That's a transport stream. That is a MPEG container in the, it's in the MPEG family, but it's designed specifically around streaming video and audio. So boom, we start dumping those sweet, sweet packets right into the hard drive. Now, this is writing the video as it's being broadcast to this transport stream container. So if you uh, are not careful and you let a 10 hour stream run onto your hard drive, it will result in a 10 hour video file that could easily chew up that delicious hard drive of yours. So keep that in mind. Let's open a new window. And now let's go to the desktop where I'm working. Look at that. We have a dump.ts. You'll never guess what we do next. That's right. We're going to play it. And this video file, can be paused, can be rewound. Remember that? It can be fast forwarded to whatever has been streamed to the file already. And if I, I could like walk away for like an, like an hour, come back and rewind everything that I missed as long as this command is dumping those packets. So if you have a hard drive, like let's say you have a computer with multiple hard drives and you have one really big, you know, four terabyte drive, you can grab your favorite streamer's film for the entire day and then just pause it or wind it. Also side benefit, uh, benefit is you have the stream for later if you want it. There we go. And now we're good to pass the commercials. And it plays just like it's actually playing. And it's the exact same packets. So it's not like a, a conversion or anything. It's lossless. You're getting the, the raw broadcast packets. 
And uh, is this uh, slick? No. Is it convenient? No. Kind of depends on what you're doing with it, though, and what you want out of it. These are the little dumb Linux commands that I love. Like, you manipulate that video, and you can do whatever you want. Again, this will work with any platform that is not DRM protected and is compatible with YouTube DL. You can actually check out the YouTube DL's uh, webpage. has a list of sites that it's known to work with. I mean, there's only so many ways to do HTML5 anymore for video. Usually gets it unless there's some DRM on there. Thanks for watching my silly little video about transport stream videos. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please. If you really like my face, if you like this guy, you can subscribe. See these guys over here? These guys are my Patreon subscribers. They support me and they make this, whatever it is, possible. And I am filled to the brim with gratitude. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one.